Hey guys, we arrived at the RV. It's right there. Very pretty and very small. Um, I haven't went inside yet. This is our, our RV. I will go inside. We are finally here at Shingle Town. Tomorrow we're gonna go to Oregon. I think we put our shoes and our slippers here. I just didn't go in yet. Wow. Oh wow, this is a view outside. Couches. TV. There's also a bedroom here. Whoa! There are so much. They have their own door. So I'm in here all alone. And now let's move on to the kitchen. These the fridge. The table. This. The view outside is very nice. We're in the woods. <laughs> um, here's our me. Here's me and Violet's bed. There's a light switch right here. Oof, sorry if that's right for I you. I can get up. Mm -hmm. My sister is trying to get up right now. Our dad saw her when, when she went in, and I was just looking at the RV from outside. <laughs> This is what it looks like to go in here. Um, as you see, the curtain. Ashley, come up here. And we have no blanket. Oh, we're off to our first destination, the Lassen Volcanic National Park. See you there. We are heading to Bum Pass Hill. This is one of the most visited spot and the largest hydrothermal area in Lassen Volcanic National Park. Bumpass Hill. Um, it would be hot if you stuck in that. Yeah, it smells like you. egg yolk right now. <laughs> I don't like this. <laughs> it smells so cute. I see it boiling. I see it boiling. We went for a quick dip in this beautiful Lake Helen. Not so cold. The weather is just perfect. Can you show me? Can you see me? Can you grow me? It's a fan. No!
Our next hiking adventure is a steep, narrow, three-mile loop Kings Creek Falls Trail with an elevation of 7,300 feet. Hiking boots are highly recommended as the trails are rocky in mud and snow often persists well in summer. No, you don't run to go on gate. Is like in a storm? Hail, hail. We experienced hail as big as marbles on our way back. Scary, but it was a fun experience. Hey guys, we're here at Crater Lake. The lake is very nice and very big also. It's behind me. Um, and the thing where when I ate the food vlog, it the Chinaman hat thing it looks like that one right there. But not not yeah. Oops. Next on our list, the Silver Falls State Park in Sublimity, Oregon. It is a trail of 10 falls and we managed to hike six of them, but we didn't miss all of those stunning spectacular waterfalls and forested landscape. The trail passes a series of breathtaking waterfalls along a rocky canyon and descends to a winding creek at the forest floor. Mom, are these like sequoia trees? Mm, I don't think so. Fine, yeah, one is here. So Christmas trees are like this, because you always say that pine. Walking behind a waterfall is a magical and it's my favorite part. No wonder it is called the crown jewel of Oregon State Park Systems.
Hey guys, we're here at the Japanese garden. There's some writings here. We're walking up to the trail up there. I think we have to be quiet. Um, I'm gonna look at the garden and take pictures. Um, and I'll show you the thing. Because my health is already hot. There is yes, a kind of dragon. Chinese. There is a little tiny house. There's one by Here's another cool site to visit in Oregon Coast. The Devil's Punch Bowl, which at one point was also called Satan's Cauldron. I don't know why, but I'm pretty sure Google knows. Wow! Wow! Another must-see in Oregon coast is Thor's Well. Thor's Well was named by this certain guy named Gibson in 2007 because it looked mythological. It is literally a beautiful, dangerous site with lots of photographers with their tripods. So with normal people, tourists like us, don't expect good pictures. There will always be a photo bomber. Now it's time to explore the California coast.
This is Capitola Beach, California. It's a nice place to stop by and take pictures with these colorful vacation homes right down at the beachfront. Ferndale, California, a small city in the northern part of California. This city contains dozens of well-preserved Victorian storefronts and homes. Before heading home, we made our one last stop. San Francisco, and of course, we didn't miss the Golden Gate Bridge. To sum it up, it was a fun eight-day road trip. We're looking forward for our next adventure. Hope you like my video.